So you want to get a degree in mathematics. Hopefully that means you have an appreciation of the beauty of mathematics and an interest in it beyond it being a tool to potentially make money. If not, then you are probably going to have a miserable few years ahead. University mathematics is difficult. If you are still in the mindset of saying that you don't care about ideas if you can't see their application in your day-to-day -day life, then you will find many higher math topics hard to grasp because university maths becomes very abstract. I'm a recent graduate of mathematics as well as physics and this was my experience. In first year math, I was introduced straight away to matrix algebra and the connection between matrices and linear systems of equations. This was new for me, but more familiar ideas were also expanded, such as first order differential equations, evaluating limits of functions, interpreting partial derivatives, vectors in 3D, series and sequences, integration involving trigonometry, and probability. Another new idea that became fundamental was eigenvalues and eigenvectors. They're a way to scale vectors using characteristics of the system. In second year, multivariable calculus and differential equations get a lot more attention. A link is made between linear algebra and solving differential equations. You'll find that you need to think more deeply about ideas and their connection to other branches of math. You'll be allowed to take notes with you into the exam, but this won't help you. The spooky reality is that you actually need to have prepared deeper than just recording a recipe of steps to take. In second year, I encountered the most abstract course I took, that was real analysis, where you desperately try to prove things that seem obvious. Group theory and the study of symmetry was also abstract because the symmetrical objects you're describing are often not physical ones. My third and final year of math study included complex analysis, just like the real version, but using the imaginary numbers. Interestingly, you can take complicated integrals, convert them to imaginary numbers to solve it in a more simple way, and then convert the answer back into something real. The third installment of differential equations was more difficult than the last two, and the study of dynamical systems turned out to be a really interesting look at chaos, as well as predicting where systems become stable. I was lucky enough to take a course on the history of mathematics, including ancient teachings done through poetry and looking at Babylonian tablets. The courses I took were only a subset of what's possible. For people interested in computer science, you can take discrete math or cryptography and coding theory, and I haven't even mentioned statistics. The main software I used for math was MATLAB and Maple, which can make some pretty nice plots. A mathematics degree gives you the ability to work in any field with complex systems that need to be understood, or with any job that wants to make sense of data. Math skills can be used as broadly as you want by combining it with any other interest. Whilst studying maths, you realize how obscure some of what you're learning is, when you speak to friends from other subjects, you can usually understand somewhat what they are talking about, but math ideas are sometimes very hard to explain to people who have not come down the same path. 
To understand math yourself is hard, but helping others to appreciate it too is the real challenge.